Well, one of Minnesota's most prominent and earliest Minnesota supporters of President Donald Trump is my pillow founder and CEO, Mike Lindell. Mr. Lindell met with candidate Trump a number of times during the campaign. He also spoke at Trump's packed Minnesota rally just two days before the election. And he was at the VIP Trump victory party the night of the election in New York City. Lindell was also at the VIP celebrations in Washington, D.C. during the inauguration. In the interest of full disclosure, Mr. Lindell is a frequent advertiser on WCC television and has also purchased an hour of airtime tonight after our late local news for the airing of a special that he produced Join called us. Mike Lindell's Story, an American Dream. This comes as a conservative news media outlet, Alpha News, has reported that Mr. Lindell is considering a run for Minnesota governor. Mr. Lindell has later said that report was not accurate. And Mike Lindell, who obviously has a lot going on, <laughs> is joining us now. Thank you very much, Mr. Lindell. Yeah, thanks for having right. me. It's always well, an listen, honor. We want to get to the inauguration because you, you were there. I uh, want to ask you about a couple of things first. First of all, are you running for governor of Minnesota? A lot no, of other people are. <laughs> no, I'm not. That came from the when I did the rally, everybody there's going, you got to run for governor, you got to run for governor. And then when they, in one of my interviews, they asked me and I said, no, I'm not interested in getting into politics, but you never know with my life. And right. it was, uh, if God wanted me to run for governor, I would. I'd okay. Put it that way. <laughs> so, is it fair to say you're not ruling it out? Uh, right, exactly. Okay, yeah. all right, um, because uh, there's plenty of time. Let me right. ask you, first of all, about, uh, obviously everybody knows you from your infomercials, mm -hmm. but you've actually purchased an hour of airtime after our late local news to air your own personal story, right. the Mike Lindell story, uh, An American Dream. Tell us about why you chose to do that and what this, this special is about. Well, the special, it's about my, it's a little bit of my journey. And uh, it's, I was a crack cocaine addict and I quit everything by the grace of God, January not 16th. So, not so long ago. Yeah, January 16th, 2009. And I just want to show with God all things are possible. And it's an amazing story. If uh, my friends, John, Stephen Baldwin, Joe Piscopo are in there. They, and uh, Jan Carl, a good friend of mine, she was the host. We did it at the Pantages Theater here in Minneapolis. And it was, we did it last summer. It was amazing. And uh, right. it gives people a story of hope. All right, yep. and that, that is the story or the yep. show that, that's airing tonight that you purchased the airtime for. Right. Let me ask you about a controversy that you've been involved in. Uh, the Better Business Bureau earlier this <laughs> month lowered your rating from an A to an F, saying that your ads for my pillow, saying buy one, get one free, were misleading that they've been running too, wrong, right. too long. Uh, you have said that you feel that the Better Business Bureau may have acted because of your support for the president. Is that, do you still really believe that? Well, first of all, it was an A plus to an F, and I was actually going to be nominated for one of their awards as one of the, their best, this Torch Award last summer. And, and it, um, w with having only 230 complaints out of 26 million pillows sold, and I've answered most of them myself personally, and those people are so happy, and I'm so proud of my employees, my customer service, and then for them to come and not only go from an A-plus to an F, but make it public. So I don't know what their agenda is. I'm not, I'm not going to, people can draw their own conclusions, but I met with them on November 15th, and they said, well, you're going to get a C, and I said, well, why would I get a C? For you know, I just my new ads are coming out actually tomorrow, tonight at midnight, and I said so the uh, new ads without the get without buy the one buy one get one, one okay. free, and right. I had it was just a very successful okay. ad, and I'm going you know I want my people you know my customer comes first and I want them to get a good deal by for Christmas, okay. and we did a big disagreement. All right, well <laughs> let me ask you about the inauguration. You're actually wearing a pin. I think we've got a close up of it mm -hmm. that the president gave you. Tell us about that and tell us what it was like to be a Trump backer for a long time now at the inauguration. You know, when I, when I got this, this was on Tuesday, it was delivered to me and I was so humbled that, um, you know, it's just uh, when him and I had met and we had talked about what I'm going to be doing for the inner cities with private funds and, and everything that, uh, that he believes in and that I believe in of helping the, helping the inner cities and helping the economy and to see it all come to fruition now, I'm just, I just hope people give, give him a chance because it's going to be amazing. Uh, and when I got this from him, it was just like, you know, very humbled. Well, you were, you were right. I mean, you called it this yeah, summer uh, saying he was going to win. But let me ask you, you know, we've seen in this newscast, there are obviously a lot of people in this country who are very upset and very concerned about President Trump and what he's going to do. What would you say to him as, as a supporter of his? Or say to them, rather, as a supporter of his? I'm saying that, you know, he was voted in as our president, and it's never worked on either side to help the inner cities, and I think it's failed so many times with the economy, and I know personally what the plans are, and, and 
you know, I'm doing a lot with the private funds for the inner city, starting right here in Minnesota. And just to give it a chance, I mean, to give it, you know, I, I, I was so excited at the inauguration for to, to finally be able to tell people, see, look what he's doing, look what he's doing. And this is what's going to happen. And more and more people are going to, he's going to be the best uniter. It doesn't look like it now, but he will be an amazing uniter for this country because he's finally going to get stuff done. All right. And you mentioned that when you first met him, he wanted to talk to you about the fact that you manufactured a product right here in Minnesota. Tell right. us briefly about that. Yeah, when he he got out, he reached out to me to meet with me because he everything he believes in, the companies were staying here, all the parts made here, and he couldn't believe it. You know, he said, Mike, I want to know, how do you do it with 1,500 employees and, and every part of my pillow is made here in the U.S.? He was very, he did his due diligence there and he wanted, and uh, and then he wanted to also know, you know, what are you doing with your foundation with the, okay. you know, with the inner city? So it was very interesting that he would reach out to a company and, uh, and do his homework. All right. Well, Mr. Yeah. Lindell, uh, always a pleasure. Thank yeah, you so thank much for you coming Thank you for having in. me. It's an honor.